Hello, I'm Karen Algersma, celebrating art on Galliano Island, and you're watching Go Island on Shaw TV. On today's show, a healing oil that comes from a bird, a brave young girl who inspires hope. All that and more on Go Island. And thank you so much for joining us on Go Island. What a special show we have for you today because we have traveled all the way over to Galliano Island, one of my favorite golf islands. It is such a magical and incredible place. And we are here uh, at the Galliano Inn where there are so many things going on. But one of the things that, uh, one of the projects that you have um, taken on is just like it's art meets creativity meets the west coast is this beautiful beautiful project tell us about and we're not going to reveal it yet oh no you got to stick around but tell us about coastal inspirations well part of the inspiration was the mystery around the whole thing it was it was a mystery to everyone including the artists who were involved in it one artist created the overall design but it took 190 different artists completing 231 pieces of work to create this. I think it's a masterpiece, it's fabulous. And we're very fortunate that, oh, th almost three dozen Galliano Island artists are involved in it, even though there's artists like Robert Bateman and Avril White, people from Mexico and Hawaii. The big part for me was the contribution of the Galliano people to the um, to this vision. I know what you're thinking. Can we see it? Oh yes, you can. Uh, but first, we're going to head to Duncan, where Jen Moranitz met a retired doctor who has discovered an oil that can cure all sorts of ailments. Emu oil. Who knew? Thank you for that fascinating story, Jen. And emus, they're very prehistoric looking. We are here at the beautiful Galliano Inn on Galliano Island talking to artist Keith Holmes, who was part of this project, this incredible project, the Coastal Inspirations. And how do you pronounce that? Do you know? Kunamost. Kunamost. I love that. It is the most uh, exceptional piece of art I've ever seen because it took um, so many artists to put together, including yourself. As an artist, what was it like to be part of a project where so many different artists were involved to create one huge piece? What was that like? It was a lot of fun. Uh, of course, none of us knew what it was going to be when it, when it came to completion. We each had our little square to, to work on, and a very abstract design was drawn out on that square just to show us where we had to give us some parameters on the tonality and the color combinations that we should use. And then we were to make up our own, our own scene based on that. And everyone made up their own, and some worked in paint, some worked in glass, some worked in, in found uh, beach objects like shells and washed up uh, uh, bits of, of debris. And uh, it's really turned into quite a, quite a ice stunning a piece of work here. Well, you see it behind me, and we're going to go find. Come on, Keith, let's, I'm going to see if I can find you. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah. okay. I'm looking for Kay Holmes. I see a Kay Holmes, but this isn't you, is That's it? That's not me. No, that happened to be Kathy Holmes, <laughs> who I've never met, actually. But, uh, but yeah. I didn't think it didn't look anything like this one. Okay, okay. Keep walking. Oh, here we are. Keith Holmes, right there. So tell us about, about this. Well, I just had a little square with one white uh, angle across the bottom and a little white triangle. Uh, and the rest was just pretty much black. So uh, I, I looked through my work and I found a study of a beach and I just set the whole thing in moonlight rather than in the daylight as I had originally done and it worked all right, it worked okay. Now what's so fascinating is you look at this lovely little piece of art and yeah, it's beautiful, but wait till we show you what all of these pieces together create. Sandra, you got to be part of this. You're a ceramic artist, though. So how did you do a ceramic art in something like this? Well, it was pretty cool that the guys who were in charge of this whole creative process were flexible enough to be able to include different artists with different mediums. Because when I look at a piece like this, I'm like, how would this kind of art fit into this? But you were able to do it. So we're going to show you her contribution right there 
beautiful. I'm allowed to touch it because it's ceramic. Uh, what was your vision behind this? Well, we were each given a square that looked to me really uh, abstract. And I had no idea into what it was going to go. So I just took some of the images that I'm used to using and the glazes and the colors and tried to uh, place them in a pleasing manner but keep to the structure that the template gave us. And when you saw the whole piece for the first time, what'd you think? Had, no, I don't think any of us had any idea what the finished product was going to look like. It's amazing, and, and I know right now when you look at it, you just see a bunch of squares, but we're gonna show you what the whole project looks like in just a moment. But first, we have to take a quick break, but please stay with us, because when we come back, we have a story of a very young two-year-old who is braver and more courageous and more optimistic than anyone I've ever met. Welcome back to Go Island. We are in beautiful Galliano Island at the Galliano Inn. And behind us is an incredible piece of collaborative art called Coastal Inspirations. And it really is, some, I've never seen anything like this because every square was done by a different artist and then it created one beautiful image. Can you see it? Can you see it yet? Well, if you can't, we're going to explain it to you in just a moment. Um, but first, you were one of the artists. Um, you're in the top corner mm -hmm. where bald eagles should hang out. <laughs> exactly. Tell, tell me about uh, your piece and your little square that you designed. Tell us about the well, image. I was really proud to be asked to be part of it, being very amateurish. And I um, went up to my daughter's at the north end, and uh, she lives on the waterfront high up. And that's where I took the picture and painted it. It was perfect, and the eagle was actually there. It was like it was uh, it knew. It's like, here I am. I'd like to be part of this, please. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Eagles are like that. Um, and when you saw the whole piece finally done, what would you think? I couldn't believe it. It was absolutely fantastic. There is a two-year-old that not only inspires her family and all her friends, but inspires cancer patients. Um, I'll let you watch this story and understand exactly what I mean. Very cool story. We are at the Galliano Inn, surrounded by the beautiful West Coast and West Coast art. Very cool. West Coast inspiration behind me. If you've never seen this, you have to come and we're going to show you and tell you exactly how you can be up close and personal with West Coast inspirations. But we have to take a quick break, but stick with us because when we come back, we have Dan's Talk To Me and more on Galliano Island. Okay, Dan Kahn, talk to me, Galliano Island. I think it would be perfect, don't you? Absolutely. Um, speaking of talking, you're going to be talking a lot about this incredible piece of art behind us. Connie, if people want to get up close and personal, how can they find out more about Coastal Inspirations? That's pretty simple. You can go on to the website. The mural is now owned by the people of Galliano Island. So you can go on to the kunamunksmural.com website or you can see an um, interactive version on muralmosaic.com. You can even get a little book where you take it apart. Every painting is in it. That's awesome. Am I allowed to advertising yet? That's and awesome. And you can put together your own mural. Look at that. <laughs> what a the, good idea. The about your size there. That yeah. is so clever. Like well, right. thank you so much for Making a project like this happen, I know you're a big force behind it, and it really is a one-of-a-kind experience to come and see this. And uh, thanks for having us here. Well, thank you so much for coming. It, it's, um, it's just such an honor to show off the art on Galliano, from jewelry to clothing to art to music to big, big art. It's, um, it's a pleasure. And the creativity here is everywhere you go, everywhere you look, and of course you can understand why because it's so beautiful. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any feedback, thoughts, ideas, if you want us to come to your island, you know where to find us. Facebook, Twitter, email us. You can go to our website. Hope to hear from you soon. Thanks for watching.